4.1 is just around the corner and wowie wowie. I mean, look at this. Look at him. And look at him. Look at the look at the hair waves. Look at the the beam. We get a beam now. I cannot wait for these two catalyst users. And while their signature weapons look really good, I want to make a case as to why the prototype amber is actually the way to go. It is going to be your best in slot for a free-to-play Nouvellet because it gives him extra HP, regen, and healing. And while it doesn't compare with the other more damage-forward weapons, it has one really special passive, which is the gilding effect. It allows you to regenerate your HP and opens up a ton of options to make any of your Catalyst users a healer. Let's take Heizu as an example. His gameplay reminds me a lot of Risley's, so I'm really excited to test out the prototype Amber on him and see if the energy regeneration will allow it. And the best part about this is that you can R5 this weapon fully free to play and complement your healing if needed with artifact sets. Another example is Yaimiko, where instead of focusing on attack for substats, I focus on energy recharge to ensure her burst could be activated more frequently. And if you do end up farming for the healing sets like Maiden Beloved and Ocean Hued Clam, the nice thing is that once you get some nice artifacts, you'll be able to reuse them with other characters, like I did here with Lisa. So with the prototype Amber and the right mix of artifacts, you can open up a whole new world of possibilities with your favorite Catalyst users, and it doesn't even matter if they're healers or not. Which of course leads us back to our two new characters who Let's be honest, I think they're going to be the two new favorites for a lot of us. And if you don't want to spend on those signature weapons, I think the free-to-play options are great, but using the prototype Amber on both is really what I'll be doing. Let's start with Nouvellet, who will scale off of HP and will benefit off the prototype Amber a little more than Risley. His whole kit is going to be focused on charging up these incredible beams, and to charge up those beams you have to absorb the orbs. The more characters you have in your party of different elemental types, the more orbs you'll generate and the fastest you'll absorb them, which means that you want to play Nouvellette with teams that have four different elements. For that reason, I definitely want to make them my healer and hydro applicator. That opens up a ton of other options for the other three party members. As for the build itself, you also have a couple of options. If you want to focus on full healing, I recommend a two-piece Maiden Beloved and two-piece Ocean Hued Clam. If you want to add a little bit of Hydro damage, you could complement with Heart of Depth or Nymph Stream. And if you're really confident on your dodging abilities and think you can focus on attack and crit damage instead, the Marishaus Hunter set is the latest one and it's going to work great for this kind of playstyle. For substats, it also depends on what you want, but if you're struggling to keep his burst active, try focusing on energy recharge. If you're struggling to keep him alive, <laughs> focus on HP. And if you are just wanting to deal more damage, focus on all of the other damage-oriented substats. Next up, we have Risley, who's our very first Cryo Catalyst user, and whose kit reminds me a little bit of Hu Tao mixed in with Heizu. I say that because his gameplay looks very close combat, while his skill is going to focus on consuming some of his own HP to deliver a more powerful blow to the enemy. And of course, this means that HP regeneration is going to be especially important for him. And since his kit already has some baked in self healing abilities, you could really lean into that with a full healer build that uses two piece Maiden Beloved and two piece Ocean Hued Clam. If you want to balance it out with more cryo damage, I recommend switching one of those two pieces with Blizzard Strayer. And if you want to go with a full attack build and crit rate, you could use the new set Marishao's Hunter. If his energy regeneration ends up not being a problem, you can focus on substats more geared towards cryo damage and attack. But if not, I would definitely recommend leaning into energy recharge or healing bonus if you're struggling to keep your characters alive. What do you think? I hope this video got you one step closer to trying out some of the teams you didn't think were possible. And once New Villette comes out next week, I hope you get to try out even more. Uh, is there anything else? Uh, yeah. If you like unconventional guides that focus on the fun more than the damage, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. I post videos just like this one every week, and I can't wait to see all your comments.